Hey guys, I just want to walk you through this trig integration problem, uh, take you step by step through it by using new substitution. And the first thing you want to do is uh, split this sine to the fifth up to a uh, sine to the fourth times sine, and I'll show you why in a second. So, first thing you do is uh, sine to the fourth x cosine squared x sine dx. Okay. That, that's the exact same, you just, if you multiply these two together, you get sine of the fifth, so I'm not changing anything, just kind of changing the way it looks. So now, this sine x dx over here is going to be our du in a minute, and I'll explain that. But we need to get this sine of the fourth, we need to turn this into cosine somehow. But if you remember, oh, we'll do this on the side over here, that uh, sine squared is the exact same thing as 1 minus cosine squared. Okay, and you say, oh well, that's sine to the fourth, not sine squared. But remember, this is that's all sine to the fourth is, is that. So all you would do here is that, and now it's the same thing. Okay, so let's do that, and then we can uh, use our use substitution in a second. So integral one minus cosine squared x squared, just like that times cosine squared x, sine x, dx. Alright, now you got it to where you want it. Okay, now you can use your u. And your u is going to be cosine. Okay, and du is just the derivative of cosine. So, du, the derivative of cosine is negative sine x. Okay, not sine. So it's negative sine x. And don't forget your dx on the end. Okay. Now, there's not a negative in the problem, so we want to move this negative to the other side, so it'll be a negative du equals sine x dx. Okay. So now we have our u and du, and now we can begin to plug in. So, first thing we're going to do is uh, plug in 1 minus cosine squared x, u equals cosine. So that would be a u squared. Alright, cosine x, or u squared again. And sine x dx is a negative du. Okay, guys? Now, negative du is the same thing as a negative 1 times du. So, negative 1 is a constant. You can bring that out to the end just to, you know, escape any type of extra difficulty. This makes the problem easier. But you can't forget about it. You just gotta leave it out till the end. So, now we're gonna do a negative integral. I just brought out my negative 1. That's all that is. Okay. And it's a 1 minus c squared squared. Alright. Same thing. Now this guy right here, just, you need to foil it just like you would do any type of problem. So 1 minus u squared squared is this. 1 minus 2u squared plus u to the fourth. That's all that is. Okay, and I still have my u squared du. Alright, now I need to distribute this u to u squared right here. Oh, oops, sorry, it looks like a 7, it's a, it's a 2. Okay, so it just equals u squared minus 2u to the 4th plus u to the 6th. Okay, and that du still stays out there. Okay, alright, that's an integral, sorry. A sloppy handwriting. Now you integrate it, which is the easy part. U squared is simply u cubed over 3. 2u to the 4th is simply 2u to the 5th over 5. And u to the 6th is u to the 7th over 7th. Okay? And then your plus c out here. Because it's an indefinite integral. Alright? You still have your negative sign out here, okay? And now, wherever you have a u, remember, plug in your cosine x, okay? So, uh, let's turn right here. You had a negative parentheses u cubed over 3 minus 2u to the 5th over 5, okay? Plus u to the 7th over 7. So all that is, is we're going to distribute our negative as we do this. Negative cosine x 
cubed, okay, over three. Whoops, well, let me rewrite that. Put that right there so you can tell that's a negative cosine cubed, okay? Distribute the negative so it would be a plus two cosine x to the fifth over five. Okay, distribute your negative again. It's going to be a minus cosine to the seventh over seventh. And don't forget your plus c because it's an indefinite integral, okay? So that's basically how you do it. Kind of a lot of work, as you can see. You know, it's very tedious, but uh, we started here with a sine to the fifth, cosine squared, and slowly broke it apart and got like terms kind of somewhat and then use your u sub and plug in your u's like that and then foil foil right here okay and now that's what you get after you foil then you distribute that u squared and then you integrate it and once you integrate it wherever you have a u just plug it back in and add your c and that's how you do it. No big deal, guys. Alrighty.